One of the jobs I thought I'd do on this Commodore 64, replace these two voltage regulators. This five volt regulator that's on the giant heatsink and this 12 volt one that's just flapping about down here. I did notice this gets very hot, so I thought it was a bit of an experiment. What I'll do is I'll attach a thermometer to the heatsink of this and we'll just play the computer and we'll see how hot this thing gets. And then after the voltage regulator has been replaced, we'll do the same test again and see how much cooler it got. So I'm just gonna stick the probe right onto the heatsink. Well, there we go, about 22. So that's the baseline with it just off. All right, hopefully that's on. So we're up to 27 degrees. So this is the temperature of the heat sink right at the edge, actually. It's definitely gonna get hotter than 30 degrees because it gets to the point where it's hot to touch. It still feels quite cool at the moment. Oh, oh wow, look at that. That was weird. What happened there? Uh oh. I think this computer's got some funny problems. I've never seen it do this. Whoa. So there we go, so we're only up to 40 degrees. It looks like it's stabilized at 40 degrees. If I just touch this to the actual, oh, it's got to 41. Don't know how accurate this thing is. Let's just touch it onto the actual, directly onto it. So we are up to 43 degrees on that voltage regulator. That is pretty toasty. I mean, it's well within its operating limits, but it's, it's pretty toasty. What about the 12 volt one? Is that any different? Oh, 12 volt one is cooking. Oh, the 12 volt one's worse. Oh my word. So that one's just not really got any kind of heat sink on it at all. That one's just sitting there and flapping off the board. So that's gonna to get to the point where you, you can't really touch that because it's gonna get so hot. If it gets hotter than that, you would have trouble touching it. But it's got like a pad on the board so that you could solder it to the board or something to get some of the heat away, but it's not been done. So I think these are within spec even though they're old and getting cooked away. So 4.9 volts for the 5 volt one, 11.8 volts for the 12 volt one. So I've got a couple of replacement ones and we're gonna whack those in and we're gonna see if we get anything better. Right, so I'll start with this 5 volt one, I suppose. It's got this bolt going through it. And it's been on there a long time. Right. And there's my heat sink. Oh, nice and shiny under there. Little bit of heat sink paste. Let's see if we can get this off. A soldering iron. There we go. That's the old one out. I think the holes are clear. Oh, don't put the 12 volt regulator in there. That's a bad idea. This is the replacement. And it should fit there nicely. This goes here. I'll keep the old heat sink. I don't know how you're supposed to bend these and get them in the right place, the legs. Don't know, never done this before, so don't know how well I'm doing this. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work. Oh, I'll tell you what I wanted to do before I put this on. I wanna put some, some heat sink paste. I'm gonna put that in as well. I've got this left over from a previous job on a laptop <laughs> so i'll put some of this in no oh, that's probably too much but there we go right take two let's get this thing in right that should be pretty good so that's it on it on there that's the five volt regular it's just bolted on i'll just solder that on now Let's just boot the thing and see what we get to start with. Computer's on, nine and a half volts in. That's the ground, 5.05 volts out. So that is maybe more accurate. I can't remember what the other one was actually. Let's go back to Turrican 2 and see what we get. So it's possible it's running a little bit cooler but that might be just because of the heatsink compound I put on. I mean, I suppose the laws of uh, thermodynamics are at play here in that 
there's only so much um, it's so much input power and so much output power and you've got to dissipate the rest of this heat yeah so it doesn't look like I'm going to get over the 40 degrees this time I don't think I am we'll give it a bit longer oh maybe we are so there we go maybe slightly more efficient but perhaps I've just put some heat sink compound in so that might be worth noting that you know if your voltage regulator is alright then maybe it's not worth what worth changing but it is nearly five degrees cooler so yeah i'm going to call that slightly more efficient and that's all i can say let's try it right there on the screw on this as well i think this is was this oh it is yeah it's over 40 degrees 42 yeah so i suppose it's just a case of power input power output you're gonna have to dissipate the excess heat somewhere it feels warm but it's touchable so a couple of degrees cooler but um, a more modern voltage regulator. So I'll do the 12 volt one as well. This one is still cooking, this 12 volt one. Yeah, over 50. We'll swap that one out. Yeah, so that one there, there is actually a hole through the board there, but it, it's just flapping around that one and they didn't bother to put, there's no thermal compound. It doesn't even touch the board to even just like dissipate some heat into the board. It's just sitting there. So I can't find a heat sink to put on this, but I have found this bolt that I took off an Amiga power supply which should fit through the board so I'll just uh, bolt it down to the board with a bit of heatsink paste under it and hopefully that'll get rid of some of the heat on that regulator. That's that voltage regulator out so so I'll clean up the holes and then I'll put a new the new one in after I put a bit of heatsink compound on. So yeah just this MX4 thermal compound that I've got from repairing a laptop. Just dab a bit of that under there, which I always put oh, always put too much in, but that's how I do it. I wonder if this will make any difference to this one. This one was just literally just sitting in thin air, so I don't know why they chose to do that. They had the bolt to bolt it onto the board, but maybe they didn't want it bolted on for some reason. Right, there we go, bolted in, just needs soldering now. Right, so uh, they're soldered in. So we've got that 18 volts coming in, 12.1 going out. It's functional. So it's not, we're not playing Turrican at the moment, we're on 28 degrees. That was a lot down from the 50, but I suppose I am actually connecting it to the board this time instead of just standing it in free air. So this one's at about 29 as well. So maybe I need to boot a game and see what it does when we've got a game playing. And this is the temperature on the 12 volt regulator, which is currently around 30 degrees. Well, I tell you what, it's it's probably still heating up, but it's nowhere near what it was before at 55 degrees, just floating in the air. It's now down at 32. I suppose it's dissipating heat into the board, but I can't really feel it. So yeah, 33 degrees. Yeah, so it's getting up to 34, but that is a significant improvement. Mostly because I think I've attached it to the actual pad on the board where it was supposed to be. And if I just put the thermometer on the board near, so the board's not getting super hot. Well, the board is at about 30 degrees there, but it's dissipating that heat. Excellent. Yeah, so the 5 volt one's getting up to 40 like it did before, but the 12 volt one, nowhere near 55 or 56 I got it at. So I think that I'm gonna call that a win. That's a massive improvement. The computer still works. And I've got brand new voltage regulators. So there they both are installed. I'm gonna call that a win. So two brand new voltage regulators and slightly improved the heat sinking. Well, I've dramatically improved the heat sinking on the 12 volt regulator, actually. It's now 20 degrees cooler than it was before by just hanging around in the free air. So probably worth doing if you've got one of these, it's got really old voltage regulators in it. Even if you just use the existing ones and just bolted it down correctly to the board, like it wasn't, um, that might actually be a big help in helping these run a bit cooler. Maybe it'll help them last longer. I mean, that one's lasted a while, but who knows how much use this computer actually had over the years but certainly these two things do get quite hot. So there you go, that's replacing the voltage regulators on a bed bin Commodore 64.